If you're looking forward to this year's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk, it's going to be the 15th year in Tucson on Sunday, October 22nd. Stella Inger joins us live downtown at Z Mansion, where the appreciation party will be getting underway. Hi, Guy. Yeah, the appreciation party is going to start in about 30 minutes from now. People are slowly coming in, but I want to introduce you to um, a breast cancer survivor. Her name is Deb Karnsu, and Deb Karnsu is, isn't only just a breast cancer survivor. She is what they call, the American Cancer Society calls, a pace setter. Deb, explain that. Well, every year, if you uh, are fortunate enough to raise $2,500 or more, that qualifies you as a pace setter as far as your fundraising efforts go. And uh, I think it gives you a good feeling about yourself and those that you're helping in the process. And over the years, you have raised a lot of money. Um, how do you do it? You know, quite honestly, I have my uh, group of go-to folks. Mm -hmm. And a lot of emails start going out about August. And uh, we try to do some private fundraising. It's a lot of friends, a lot of family, a lot of co-workers that are all very, very supportive. And, and that's essentially what I've built up, you know, from year to year. You're not afraid to ask. I am not afraid to ask. And one in eight women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime. You say early detection is key, and you know Absolutely. this from your experience. Absolutely. It's all about being proactive with your own health. Um, you know, as soon as you feel that something's not right, that's the time to go and get it checked. Good reminder. Deb, thank you so much for being here. Thank Congratulations you. on being honored tonight. Thank you. And we'll be right back right after the break.